some girl who goes on the internet by Bella the Wolf put Mal's number on a Discord server, said that it was hers, and told people to call. And for months, she's been posting things mocking Christians and Muslims, posting things like Bella's the new Allah, Bella's better than Jesus, Bella is Jesus. Let's have a look. Is she really that bad? Oh, she's made a TikTok here. Update on my cancer. You guys know it was fake, right? You guys are so dumb. Bella the God never leaves. So we have a gacha content creator who is faking having cancer. Okay. Bella the Wolf. Now, if you've not heard of who this individual is, oh boy, are you in for a good time. Bella the Wolf is a terrible person. They're a gacha content creator who likes to make fun of people who have died of cancer, makes fun of religion, and even makes edits about how soldiers should unalive themselves. I mean, I have made so many videos talking about gacha cringe that you can simply watch one of them and get an understanding of just the dark side of this community that is at large. And for anyone who doesn't actually know what gacha is, it's basically an anime art style game that primarily kids will use to make stories. But for whatever reason, there is a dark underbelly in this community that will make the most disgusting content you will ever see. But with that being said, I do want to say that not everybody in the gacha community is this bad. So today we're just going to watch a video and talk about what Bella the Wolf has actually been up to. So sit back, get a drink, eat a table, and enjoy. Let's watch. Now, there's this girl named Bella the Wolf, and she does art like this, but she also does art like this. And for months, she's been posting things mocking Christians and Muslims, posting things like Bella's the new Allah, Bella's better than Jesus, Bella is Jesus. I mean, I've said this countless times in my videos, but seriously, where are the parents of these children? Like, who is allowing them to have a phone and able to make content like this? I mean, I wish I could honestly say that I'm shocked to see this coming out of any community, but honestly, the gacha cringe community is something else. It's always been a very disrespectful part of the community that I've seen on the internet. It's a shame, really, because it doesn't matter who you are or what you do, they'll just make fun of it. They'll make fun of your skin color, they'll make fun of the LGBTQ, they'll make fun of religion. They will literally make entire storylines post it on YouTube about how parents will have relations with children. It's absolutely disgusting. I feel like as well, to make content like this, you have to have a serious case of brain rot. Like who honestly is going to sit in their room or in the basement and just make content like this, pat themselves on the back and be like, I did a good thing today. I mean, even just reading the description of Bella's YouTube channel is a good enough indicator of what type of person this individual is. Hi, I'm Bella the Wolf. My original concept is 17. Soldiers equals rats that don't deserve mercy. They get praised for unaliving innocent people. I mean, if you really think about it, why would you even want to say anything like that? Why are you hating on the people who are trying to protect you from people who want to hurt you? And the thing is, it actually gets much worse in this description. Technoblade equals bold pig who is a racist man. He needs to stay in his grave. I mean, that's just an absolutely disgusting sentence and that should never be repeated by anyone. If you don't know who Technoblade was, he was a massive Minecraft creator who unfortunately passed away two years ago from dealing with a battle with cancer. Like, it's just such an unnecessary thing to even make fun of or try and get a reaction out of people. Bella also had a Discord server which had over 10,000 people in it. Not saying that obviously all of them were going to be fans of her, because probably a lot of them were actually haters, but that's a large amount of people who are going to get to see what's coming next. Bella decided to put a 10 year old's number in this Discord, claiming it as her own, and started requesting people to ring the phone and start just harassing it basically. The mom actually made a TikTok video talking about this two years ago. So let's hear what she has to say about it. Yesterday, some girl or some person who goes on the internet by Bella the Wolf um, put my son, and here he is, that's Mal's, put Mal's number on a Discord server, said that it was hers, and told people to call. Since then, Mal's has gotten... So at this point, I am going to have to change Mouse's number. So yeah, Bella put a 10 year old's phone number in her Discord channel claiming it was her own number. In my opinion, this is just evil because you can fully expect people on the internet to go completely overboard with this. They won't stop at just calling this number. They will send inappropriate images, inappropriate videos, and even messages. I mean, just think about it. You've got a content creator who makes content making fun of cancer, wishing soldiers to unalive themselves. I really don't think the people who are going to contact this number are going to be the type of people you would really want to know or even have your number. And all of this is going to a poor 10 year old boy. It is scary. And then for people to be using racial slayers 
at my son. I mean, um, there was pictures sent that were very, very inappropriate for a 10 year old, inappropriate for me. And I'm 41 years old. If you follow Bella the Wolf, please tell her to take my son's phone number down. The internet really does bring out the worst in people. And the thing is, this has gone beyond the point now of just some simple internet trolling or making some stupid videos trying to get attention. Like, this isn't rage baiting. This individual has taken a young child's phone number, posted it publicly in a Discord with well over 10,000 people in it, and I really can't give you any other reason than the fact that they probably think it's really funny. But then again, no one other than her will know why she did it. Like, there's even two possible thoughts you can think about here, that this is either a another child who thinks it's funny to do this at such a young age or this is someone who's much older hanging around with a younger audience to this level making this type of content like i just don't see the funny side of being over any age which is considered an adult and then making fun and terrorizing children and the thing is, it doesn't even really stop there. Tyler Cord's LOL, who made this original video exposing Bella, has actually now been getting false reported by her. She posted in her Discord channel for everyone to go and false report his video. So the other day, I uploaded a video exposing the most toxic gotcha life creator, Bella the Wolf. And her response was nothing the less art of her decapitating my head. Her staff and close friends also joined in posting art of me getting whipped, stomped to the ground, and even hanged. She of course also made fake DMs, which if she was good at, would have obviously gotten my profile pic right at least. Thankfully a lot of you guys were smart and didn't jump the gun, especially when it's coming from a person like Bella the Wolf, who lies and says I'm an EDP, I have a OF, and still says things like this about Technoblade who passed away from cancer for no reason. Is anyone even really shocked at this point at what Bella will actually do if she faces any criticism for what she's done or said? Like I said earlier in the video, these gacha cringe creators will make fun of everything and anything. The fact art was made and posted, no, I don't even want to call it art, the fact that images were made posting Tyler Cords being literally decapitated should give you an idea of just how unhinged this individual is. Since Tyler actually made his video, she added him to her about description where it says, Ty Accords, uneducated monkey lover who needs to be banned. I can't even say I'm shocked. I'm more just disappointed that people like this actually exist. And obviously it's completely unnecessary to respond to someone and post like this about them. Bella, you are just absolute spaghetti. As simple as that. Great news is her toxic TikTok did get banned. Her main Discord account, it got suspended. But again, Discord does need to get contacted about that server because they constantly promote doxing and disgusting things in that server. She's been saying she's gonna sue me, she's trying to get thousands of people to report my account. All I gotta say is I love you guys, thanks for the support, and hopefully we can put an end to this immediately, bruh. I mean, on a final note, this entire situation is just awful. And for Bella as an individual to be someone who finds that laughing at people who have died of cancer or wishing soldiers to unalive themselves is absolutely unforgivable. It's content that's being made which really has no other reason reason to be made other than just to get people's reaction. But unfortunately, like we've seen with the woman and her son, it escalates to the point where it's going to start affecting people in real life. And I know it's all good just saying that you wish this individual would get banned, but the truth is they'll just come back. The best solution to honestly deal with this type of individual is to just ignore them and not give them the attention they so desperately crave. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, Game of Virgins. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe out there. Be careful which Discord servers you join and who you speak to online. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Time.